Hello YouTube. Just want to do a quick video uh, on my, not so much my truck, but the tires that are on it. Uh, Toyo MTs, open countries, 35 inch uh, by 12 and a half on 18s. Reason why I want to do this review is there's a lot of reviews online of these tires, brand new compared to other tires, blah, blah, blah. Uh, there's not too many reviews online of tires that have been on a truck for almost a decade with over 70,000 miles on them. Uh, so it's nice to get the down the road review of the tires, uh, not just brand new off the shelf compared to other tires that are available. Uh, so I guess we're dip right into it. Uh, so the truck's 2009 F-150. I put the lift on. Uh, it's a six inch rough country. Uh, I put that on late 2012, early 2013, sometime over the winter. Uh, so not as soon as I bought the truck. I waited a couple years. Uh, this truck was purchased brand new in 2009. Uh, but yeah, so I'll show you what I got for mileage on this truck. So you go to the old trusty book full of information here. And at the front of my manual, I keep a log of everything I do. So I replaced the upper and lower ball joints at 85,000 kilometers. Uh, that's kilometers, not miles up in Canada here. If you weren't able to tell already, uh, a little bit of an accent, but to be honest, it's uh, my stuffed up nose right now, just battling a little bit of, a little bit of a cold. But uh, so I installed a lift at 85,000 kilometers. Uh, that's why I did my upper and lower ball joints because I had the front end apart, uh, as you can see. So if you go here, I presently have a little bit more. Every time. Presently have 203,225 kilometers. So, if we want to do the conversion on that to the old miles, usually I'm pretty good with miles, but I'll be off a few thousand, so I already did it. If you subtract 203, I already did it for you guys. Uh, from 85,000 when I installed the lift, that's 118,225 kilometers. Miles, we got 73,461. So that's what's on it, uh, on these tires. So that's pretty good. You look online, you see some guys getting 30,000, some guys getting 40, some guys getting 50. I've seen a couple guys get 70. I bet you this is definitely on the high side, I would think. Uh, I've had the chance to put these on brand new. I've had the chance to take care of them, rotate them accordingly. I've always had a nice tight front end on this truck, so there's never been any alignment issues. And uh, that's probably one of the big things right there. Running proper air pressure. Right now they're a little bit low, as you've probably seen on the dash, just because it's extremely cold right now outside heavy into the minuses as you can see the truck is filthy full of salt uh and ice it's in the shop right now just getting an oil change so that's when i thought i'd do this but uh yeah there is ways to take care of tires and uh, having a good alignment uh and rotating them is important i didn't rotate them too often every twelve thousand miles i just did them in my garage here but uh Honestly, they've been good. They've never let me down. I've never had a flat tire. Uh, if you want to look at where I left, they're on their way out. Like if I had a guess, I got about two or 3,000 miles left out of them. You can see they're a little bit more war in the center, maybe a little bit, but pretty even. And that goes for 04 tires here. I can show you quick. Maybe a little bit more left on the back. Uh, these were on the front uh, not too long ago. Then I switched them. Uh, they will wear at different times if you're towing and hauling a lot of stuff in the box. The backs will wear quicker if you don't change them. And that's what I, I do do a lot of towing and 
I always got a full load in the box, whether it be the sled or the quad or camping gear. But as you can see, they're all pretty, uh, or pretty good. Uh, so I guess we're digging right into the review. Uh, so where you can give them a 10 out of 10. Uh, I know some, some factors depend on the truck that you drive too. I've had buddies that have had these tires on a big, heavy diesel truck, uh, and they do wear quicker. Uh, if you tow a lot or heavy, heavy towing, they're going to wear quicker too. Uh, weight's a big thing, but, uh, for the most part, you know, I just got my truck, got my small boat that I tow once in a while. I got the quad that I put in, uh, put in the box. Uh, got my sled too. That'll be in the box once in a while. Uh, I have towed my car a couple times. Uh, nothing too crazy. And then a small camper trailer. So there's been towing, but nothing significant. Nothing, not all the time, but, you know, out of those 73,000 miles, I bet you 20,000 of those miles either had a sled or a quad or a boat behind them, behind the truck. So there's been some towing and some weight put on them uh so back to it where give them a 10 out of 10 uh ride comfort honestly when i put the lift kit on uh it's hard to pinpoint if i lost ride from the lift or the tires i give it a bit of both uh but they are definitely they're rough uh this truck pretty well rides like a heavy duty truck uh, with this lift kit and tires on it it looks good uh, the lift's been great but your ride quality does go down uh, you feel every pothole uh, but that's nature of the beast can't have the best of both worlds uh, but uh, yes yeah. so uh, ride comfort give it I don't know maybe a three out of ten like I said, it's hard to pinpoint if it's from the lift or the tire, but I'm sure the 10 ply tires make a big difference. Uh, noise on the highway. They're pretty quiet for a MT35. They're definitely going to be louder than your stock tire, but uh, for an MT tire, they're definitely on the quiet side. Not too much humming. Uh, and I've always been a believer if you got loud tires, that's just the tires wearing that much quicker. Uh, I could be wrong, but. Uh, you know, these are quiet tires and they last a long time. So that actually, that might make sense. Uh, wet snow performance out of a 10, I give it maybe a four. Uh, they're not that great. Uh, you got to know how to drive the truck. You got to, you got to get the feel for these tires. Uh, you can see right now a little bit of snow as I drove in here. You know, like that's almost flat. You know, that's just going to slide. Like, you got to take your time. Uh, a lot of people might put winter tires on. You know, I've been driving stuff since I was 12, 13 years old back in the bush. Uh, I believe I'm a better driver than most. Uh, so unless you really know your truck, know your tires, uh, definitely be careful in, uh, in the winter. Honestly, sometimes I just run 4x4 four four around town when it's wet and slick outside. Uh, what's next? Mud performance, honestly, 10 out of 10. You get in some mud with these uh, out hunting and in the summer, which I have, uh, they dig. They're, they're freaking wicked in the mud. Uh, sand, same thing, they're good. Uh, they're not meant for sand, you know, like they are for mud, but they still, they still do good. Any off-road performance on these is, is honestly top-notch. Uh, this truck has been more of a highway queen when it comes to the miles that are on these tires. Definitely some dirt road driving out to camp and all that, out fishing. Uh, but mostly highway around town. So uh, that obviously makes a big difference. If you did nothing but off-roading, obviously you're not going to get 73,000 miles. But uh, this is my everyday driver uh, besides my work truck. Uh, so it's a lot of city, a lot of highway, and then once in a while off-road, but nothing too significant. Uh, what else can we talk about? Uh, reliability. They've never let me down. Uh, as you can see on the dash, 
they're low on air right now, just a little bit. Uh, I think I got like 30, low 30 PSI on these. Uh, but it went down just a little bit because of cold weather. Uh, air obviously contracts when it's cold out. So uh, I'm going to have to put a little bit more in there. Uh, but they've never let me down. I've never never had a flat tire, never had a blowout, never had a leak. Uh, honestly, they've been, they've been wicked. For what they're meant to do, they are top-notch. Uh, they're probably more expensive than most tires, and I can see it's worth it. Uh, if you want to look at looks, you know, like Toyos, I think, are some of the top-looking tire, especially when they're brand new. They don't look as good now because they're worn out. But when they were brand new, they looked freaking wicked. Uh, so looks, you can give them a 9 out of 10. Uh, if not a 10 out of 10. Uh, what else can we got? Uh, that's about it, I guess. The only negative thing I can think about these uh, when it comes to reliability is a couple years after I purchased these, they started weather cracking which really surprised me. Uh, actually worried me a little bit, to be honest, and I can show you here. It's obviously a little bit worse now, but uh, you can see the weather cracks. So these are 10 ply tires, so you can wear them right out. So I wasn't too worried about the weather cracks. Well, I was at the beginning, sorry, but after a while I, I wasn't concerned just because I, I kept a close eye on how uh, how fast they're cracking. You can see it a little bit more. But, uh, so they started cracking probably within three to four years, maybe 30,000 miles, which had me worried because uh, I thought they, once they started, they were gonna crack fast, but just kept my eye on it. And as you can see, that's how much it is, it is currently. So it's still manageable, but uh, that kind of surprised me a little bit. You know, they're not, this truck's not parked in the garage, so it's always parked outside, but I don't know all the factors with weather cracking. Obviously, weather is a part of it, hence weather, but uh, I'm sure there's a few reasons, but uh, because they're a 10 ply tire, I believe you could wear them right out, and which I've been doing, and that's why I really wanted to see what I could get out of these. And like I said, I got over 73,000 miles. Could probably get two to 3,000 more or miles out of them keep saying kilometers up in Canada here as you can see I'm not quite down to that center wear pad so you could probably get 75 76 thousand miles out of these tires uh for a mud tire a 35 inch tire if you ask me that's freaking wicked so I think I'm gonna wrap it up I'm actually gonna do a review on this truck same thing you see a lot of reviews on brand new 22s 2022s, oh, I can't talk. My nose is all stuffed up. But uh, how often do you see a review of a truck that's, you know, this truck's going on 13 years old, being an 09 with uh, 126,000 miles on it, if I do my conversion right. So uh, it's been good, but I uh, figured I'd do a quick review on it anyhow, on an upcoming video. But uh, yeah, I'll leave it at that. If you have any questions, uh, shoot them in the comments below. I'll get back to you. Uh, but I thought I'd do a nice review of these uh, Toyo MTs. Uh, if you're looking for a good MT, I would 100% buy them again. Um, my next truck won't have a big lift kit. Uh, I probably won't get a mud tire again just because they are on the aggressive side. You know, I was 22 when I got these and I thought they were the coolest thing ever. And, you know, they still do look good, but... Uh, I'm over the six inch lift and 35 inch tires, put it that way. Uh, getting to be an old man here and I'll be looking for more of a highway truck, I guess you could say. But uh, yeah, like I said, comments below, questions, concerns, and uh, I'll get back to you. Thanks, take care.